Hey guys, it's Camera Fighter 1234 and here I got finally a video coming up from three weeks. Uh, I was going to do an airport update two weeks ago, but these models finally came in. This one came in a week ago, the Delta, and then that one came in a couple days ago, right before I went on vacation, so I couldn't open it or anything. I did open the Delta, but I'm just going to do an unboxing and review for uh, both of them. So let's get on into it. First, we'll go with the West Jet. Uh, Alright, so here, we'll start off, obviously, with the box. Uh, over here says Gemini Jets. We'll focus. Yeah, that should be better with light. So, Gemini Jets made for collectors by collectors. Bombardier, Q400, and West Jet, the, and then the... Let's check 1400 scale die cast model aircraft. Sorry about that. Now going back here, same thing, just on the side. Adult collectible model. So read that. And then I'll read this. 1400 scale die cast model. Well, highly collectible, superior quality, realistic metal landing gear, detailed printed graphics, as real as it gets features. And then on the back, oh, and over here is the same thing as the other side. And on the back, it's really small. Plane climbing, all of this stuff. Uh, WestJet registered trademarks, and this is a 2014 Gemini Jets release. So, here's that. Let's look at the Delta 747 while I unbox it. This is tight. I'm gonna get this out. Yeah, it shows how small it is. See, that's my finger. I have a decent size hand, so that this is a really small model. This is almost easy to come off the box. Plastic off that to the side. Alright, there's a hat. The registration for this plane is C F H E N. There's uh the repellers do turn. Both of them. And the main landing gear, the wheels do roll, but the front ones I don't know if they kinda can't really tell, they're really small. Double focus. See they're really small. So you can barely tell. So starting off with this review, if you do put a little, like if you tap it, it does go back a little. So it's like back heavy, tail heavy. Here starting with the L1 door. There's the light, let me pick it up. Hold on. Starting off the L1 door. There's some writings on there, I can't tell what they say. And then they say WestJet. The WestJet symbol right there, right there, and then you get the windows beside the propeller, and you get WestJet on the propeller, WestJet.com on the wing, propeller thing, uh, and then you get the Canadian flag right there, and then the cargo door, and I think that's the cargo door, <coughs> sorry, I think that's the cargo door right there, and that's the passenger door, obviously, and then the WestJet tail, looks really nice. Might get the 737-800. And then this side, same thing. So now, moving on with the Delta, which is my favorite out of the two. This is a, the Delta is one of my favorite models that I have. So here, here we go. Again, Gemini Jets made for collectors by collectors. Image of the plane, Delta Bunk 747-400. One front scale diecast model plane, Sky Team. And then you get the only uh, big feature about this box and any other is the widget on the side. And then, oh, I forgot to show you the inside of the WestJet box. I just remember. Here's the information about the aircraft. And here's the paragraph. There you go. So now go to the inside of the plane. There's the Delta. I mean the 747 info, then here's this plane's info. 
here we got the sides, basically the same as the other one. And the only thing different is the back. Plain farming, and then it, this is a 2015 Jonah just released. And then open it up. It's very hard to do with one hand. You can hold it with one. Here's a beautiful plane. I really love this plane. I had one of the first releases of this plane, and then I was looking for one for a very long time. Oh, plastic came off with it. And then I finally managed to get one. It was well worth my money. Or my parents' money. So here's the plane. Registration is November 670 US. The cockpit and then uh, <coughs> the cockpit L1 door. Uh, it's just it's a really nice plane landing lights. And where does the Q400 have the landing lights? Right here. Q400 has it right here. Right there. So, a bit of a size comparison between these two. Look at that. It's a really big difference. I mean, don't look at this view. That's a really big difference. And then the back view. And then the top view. Just look at that difference. Put it right over here and fill up a couple of these even with the wing and everything. The wheels do roll on this plane on the Delta. This completes my Delta collection. I'm just looking for the uh, Delta uh, CRJ 700. I ordered that actually, and it's gonna be coming in soon. Uh, so it does. The Q400 does not have antennas, obviously. It's a really small plane. I wouldn't even expect it to have antennas. And then this one has a... Oh, I forgot the name. Whatever. The antennas on the bottom. One antenna over here, actually. This blue on the bottom. And then this one just white on the bottom. The stand hole is the same size, obviously, because there's only one stand size. And that's going to be... The review guys, so please comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.